and tonight's winner is Ozo. On today's episode, we're going to cover the banter that happened post eviction yesterday. Conversations between Leikon and Erika, between Prince and Dorothy. Most important and naughty thing that happened last night, I already uploaded it in the previous video. Also, I showed you guys in that video how the viewers voted as the bottom nine people and what percentages they got. Prince actually was bottom two, ideally, but yeah, he's still in the house. Uh, my choice for deputy is Dorothy. Post eviction, obviously, the housemates were really jittery. Everybody was just sad. It was just crazy, and it became real that the game was on. The first conversation was between Prince and Dorothy. Prince was just explaining the fact that Katrina understood him on a very different level. So, guys, she understood him on a very different level, as he said, and then they knew each other so well. You guys know they had sex like two episodes ago. So, yeah. But Dora was just saying she, yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah, she. Yeah, no, I just there was a conversation with Lekon and Erica. Basically, Lekon was telling Erica, you know, how he felt about her. We'll go back into that at some point in this video. That was it, guys. They all went to bed after just different conversations. Watoni was talking here. Um, Negi and Prince were just bantering their own banter somewhere else. And yeah, the day came to an end. So this morning, we were blessed with the sight of Neo and V. Guys, you like Neo and V as a couple? I think I like them, to be honest. Like, I don't mind them at all. Later, um, Nengi and Prince were in this conversation. You know, Nengi likes to have conversations where she's just going up, down, dragging you up, down. You know, they were just talking. Um, I think she went into the bathroom to tell Ozo something. And then Prince was like, why did you have to go into the bathroom to tell? She was like, you, I don't even owe you any loyalty because you're not loyal to me. And they just like bunching of how, I think she had a fight with Lucy and Prince saw it. Prince even come to meet her to say, you know, what happened. Obviously, Prince and Lucy are quite close. So, she was just making the big issues of nothing. And Prince was really indulging her. Like, that guy has time for Nengi's ups and downs but yeah cool i feel nengi is playing a very good game in this um people that season and i'm not i'm not even complaining at all i don't expect you to be stuck with me as first of all we are not in a relationship okay then the eviction all of them were just reacting to how the eviction happened to them like dora at some point was even saying that she could even move her legs when they called katrina's name Stand up, I'm just holding it to address. It's hard. Um, Lucy cried and cried and cried. She cried the day before and then today as well. Then at some point, Kid was like, maybe viewers don't even like to see relationship. For well, people may not want to see relationship stuff. New Year said that one is super story. Maybe this week they will like it, next week they won't like it. But to be honest, it's not even that we don't like to see relationships. The point is, Lilo did not really give us so much to know about her. Even Eric. Luckily, Eric used to have a lot of conversations with the guy. It'll be fine, Eric. No, of course you'll be fine. And he looks good. Obviously, no viewers, most people that vote are actually female. So if you want to see between Eric and Lilo, it's Eric you'll probably choose. So Neo basically just said everyone should just be themselves instead of thinking of what viewers want to see or what viewers want to see. Just be yourself because if you want to now, you just key yourself. Like. And then Lilo and Erika again. So, okay, during the party, apparently they, when they were playing this song, something about I will be jealous. It's a Nigerian song, Sha. Oh baby, I'm getting jealous. Don't wanna see you with anybody. Eric now told Le uh, Leko, I know, I know. So Leko was asking her that afternoon, that, uh, what do you do mean by I know? She now said, because every time I'm with kid, maybe chilling with him, just doing him, you know, just laughing with him and stuff, you're always looking at me weird, or you walk past, or you just look as if you're not happy. Leko was forming that, that why can't I do that? That is understandable. She now said, no, that nobody in the house does that to her. Leko was like, well, I like you. It's, it's a no-brainer now. No chill, I don't get I don't understand. The Erica must be really stressed just trying to manage this friendship that's turning into something else. Like I can't even imagine the stress she's going through, but well, it's clear that she's actually she actually prefers Kidwire and clearly Lekon has the patience to just be hanging out around doing like yesterday night. I even saw one video where she was eating and gave him cake or something and they started licking her finger, like it was so irritating. <sighs> So that scene, Kidwire and Erica were chilling on the um, couch again and um, he was just talking about things he liked about her. So he said he liked her drive, he liked her ambition and then he liked the fact that she's a good and a bad girl. He said, in fact, he said, I love that fact that you're a good and a bad girl at the same time. That we kind of, I kind of get you, I kind of get your vibe up. He said, kissing, making out <laughs> up and down you, please. And then Tolani gave Prince a massage. I guess Tolani's eyes is, are still with Prince, irrespective of the fact that Prince spends more time with Nengi. Her eyes are still there. Watoni, I don't even know where Watoni is hanging right now. She's always just with Tricky Tisha. Just always forming like friendship that Tricky TV become HOH. I'm sure I'll be your assistant, you know. But she's not really making any move or anything. Sometimes she looks really confused and 
she kind of lacks enthusiasm when you see her sometimes i'm really really hoping she does something you know extraordinary this week just so we talk about her more in a positive light last conversation was with keisha and tricky t keisha was just saying she's actually here for the fame you know just grateful to be here it's not about money but yeah she just really wants that fame so she can be able to apply to other aspects of her life the main reason why i came to big brother is for me to get the fame let's hear a bit from Katrina. Um, shout out to the Boss Nation, shout out to everyone who has supported love and prayed for me. Um, and then here it is from Lilo. Um, thank you so much my fans for you know voting for me. So guys, based on the new Big Brother rules, if you're head of house this week, like Lucy that was head of house last week, she cannot be in competition for head of house this week. She can also not be chosen as an assistant this week. So basically, if you're head of house in a week, the next week you're definitely up for eviction. I don't know about the assistant, that's Prince. I don't know if someone can choose him. I don't know how the rules would be, but I know for the head of house, once you're head of house this week, the next week you're definitely up, basically. That's about it, guys, for the full recap of today. Hope you enjoyed this. Please click the subscribe button if you haven't. If this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. See you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.